All right, today we're gonna go finish up, well this afternoon we're gonna go finish up one of my jobs and I'm gonna take y'all along with me, but first I wanna show y'all this. I just got done uh, doing a change out this morning here at the shop and uh, it was a four ton heat pump change out we did. We put in a Mana 15 sear uh, heat pump system, four ton. Rude. There's the old blower. We had to cut it out to get it out the attic. Um, this particular hot guy here, two weeks ago, somebody went and put this evaporator in. You could tell it's brand new. I mean, it ain't got a liquor rust on it or nothing. And then, two weeks later, the old compressor went to ground. So, and I'm not the one that put the evaporator in or diagnosed this one, but actually I did diagnose it in a second opinion and ended up changing the system, but anyway. So, uh, but anyway, I wanted, I thought I'd show y'all that, but we're gonna go, we're gonna go to a firehouse out here by my house and show y'all what I've done over there. Okay, we're here at the firehouse. Air handler's up there. I gotta get a stamp grill for that. That's the return. You got your trunk duck coming all the way across. And that's pretty much it. And it's just gonna dump air in here. Then we got a got a register here. Another register here. I'll take y'all upstairs show y'all the air handler. Here's the air handler. Just sitting up, you know, right there. Return flex. Going in that hole you just saw. That flex run goes into that one register. This flex run goes into this register. That's going to blow air in this room. Uh, this room is where they keep them suits at. Them special suits they wear and they can't get over a certain temperature. Got your line set. Coming up around into the unit very nice and uh i gotta put a float switch right there so uh let me get i'm gonna and i gotta put it in the vacuum so i'm gonna go put it in the vacuum and then come do the float switches here's the condenser five ton goodman heat pump and uh i'm about to put a vacuum on it and then we are going to start it up for the first time. Okay, I got the vacuum rolling. So I'm going to go in here and straighten up some drain stuff. Okay, so I'm up here looking at my job. And I remembered that. Well, when I pulled up today, the drain was already ran. And I remember that I came over here this afternoon to pump a vacuum, start the system up, and run the drain. And it didn't dawn on me at first. Then I realized, wait a minute, I didn't never did run the drain. Well, there's an idiot over here at the firehouse that thinks he knows how to do anything. He ran the drain and he teed the emergency pan into the main pan and he didn't trap it. So now I added a trap right here, poured water to test it and it backs up into the emergency pan. So now I gotta redo all this crap. Well, let me tell you something, man. I am not happy right now. <coughs> all right, the system's up and running. Nice, quiet, 13 sear, Goodman heat pump. You're gonna get us a target superheat here in just a minute. There's a line set and a whip, and the speed of channel goes all the way up there. Drain comes down. Got a turning going around over there. Drain right there. Finally got the drain right, so a lot happier about that. But uh, get a target superheat and we'll wrap this one up. All right, the uh, target superheat is 16.6, and we're at 10.6, and you see it's jumping up to 11. That's within five, and it's playing around a little bit, so we're uh. We're in the ballpark and really happy with the way this job came out. I'm sorry I didn't get video of the actual install. 
I did have video of the actual install of running duck and stuff and I'm really upset that I didn't get to put it on here guys but uh, this is a new camera because my other camera went out on me it uh, I went to actually upload I was gonna do a part one part two on this uh, job here and when I went to upload part one my camera just shut off and never came back on it just quit working so um, I had to get a new camera but I wanted to make sure y'all saw at least some of this so um, thanks for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one